Hey everyone, it's VDX. I'm covering Lay's Tiger Stance mix-ups today. If you want more one-minute matchups, hit the subscribe button and give me a like if this was really helpful for you. And leave in the comments if there are other characters you want to see as well. All right, here we go. When Lei has both palms facing you, you're in a 50-50. First, learn to recognize his transitions to Tiger Stance. Snake 4-1, forward 4-1, down forward 1 plus 2, razor rush 4 punches, sidestep 1 forward. If you block Lei's transition to Tiger Stance, you're pretty much in the clear to quickly challenge with a mid. But watch out for Tiger Backdash or Tiger Parry. If your character has an unparryable poke that's around I-15, it will cover every option. Examples include Asuka back 4, Claudio back 3, and Lily down forward 4. If Lay's string hits you and he goes into Tiger stance, down jab if you can. This beats both Tiger 2-2 or Tiger 4, which nullifies the launching 50-50. If Lay anticipates this, he uses Tiger 3 or Tiger backdash to evade the down jab and counter. Generic down 4 is not as good of an option. It can trade with Tiger 4 and outright loses after Snake 4-1. I don't recommend using it unless you know Lei's frames and the player's habits really well. If you don't have a down jab or down 4 and Lei hits you while going into stance, you have to take the mid-low 50-50. Tiger 4 has more range than Tiger 2-2, so you can use your spacing to influence your guess. Otherwise, observe if the Lei makes a habit out of delaying his mix-up or not. If he does, you can disengage and or challenge carefully. Okay, I know that last tip was pretty vague, but I spent like two weeks trying to like write a generalized guide that would fit in under a minute. Lay's situations have a lot of nuance though, so let's go in depth. Here's a full breakdown of Lay's tiger stance moves. Here are some quick notes on Lay's other tiger stance moves, and then we'll go into more of the transitions to the tiger stance and how we'll defend against that. One thing to note is tiger 2-2 is a mid-high, so if Lay doesn't try to hit confirm it, you can duck and punish the second hit. Tiger 1 plus 2 is more niche, but if your back is to the wall, be careful about doing getup kicks, because Lei can backdash and then use this to whiff punish for a gigantic reward, since it's a wall bounce. His mid 1 is an I-16 keep out launcher, so be careful about challenging the tiger stance if Lei is backdashing away. In general, pick something quick that will get in there, or wait for him to whiff. To review, here are his main transitions to tiger stance. This is Fee from the Future, pay close attention to this, because this is probably what you're going to see in matches. Although the frames on paper favor the defender, Lei will often condition the defender to block by using full string extensions. Then, once you're conditioned to not challenge and just block, he'll end the string early and go into tiger stance. Then he immediately goes for a 50-50 while you're hesitating. Regardless, the frames will still be the guideline for our options here. Tip number one. When Lei is plus three or more, down jab if you expect the mid or low launchers. Otherwise, just block. It's a four-level Yomi mix-up, so let's go through them one by one. Level 1 is the launching 50-50, Tiger 2-2 two, two, or Tiger 4. Level 2 is the down jab. Down jab in all situations will cover both of these 50-50s perfectly. Level 3 is Lay's answer to beat level 2, Tiger 3 or Tiger backdash. Should you autopilot the down jab and Lay reads this, Tiger 3 or backdash completely beat this option. Level 4 then, to beat Tiger backdash or Tiger 3, is just block. This opens you up to level 1 again, the 50-50. So again, we're talking about plus three or more, so the transitions you're looking for are Snake 4-1, Forward 4-1, and Dragon 4-1. Snake 4-1 is the new Season 4 move, it leaves him at plus four. Forward 4-1 and Dragon 4-1 are actually the same move, and they leave him at plus three on hit. After these, down jab. Generic down four covers the options slightly differently here. It'll trade with both Tiger 50-50 options. The difference is, if you trade with Tiger 4, you still get launched, so it's still really risky for the defender. Tiger 3 also outright beats it, so if Lei reads you hesitating, generic down 4 didn't really help you. If Lei reads you doing a down jab, generic down 4 also didn't help you. So then for this reason, you'd have to hard read that he's going for the mid, or that he's going for tiger backdash, and the risk reward just isn't worth it. Tip number 2. When hit by down forward 1 plus 2, Lei is at plus 3 and you're in crouch. This means you can add while standing 4 to your options. This beats everything except Tiger Parry, but you have to be a little extra careful if the down forward 1 plus 2 was blocked at tip range. If Lei does Tiger Backdash here, while standing forward will whiff, and he'll be able to launch you. Tip number 3. Sidestep 1 forward on block is plus 2, so you can add generic down 4 here as an option. It's like down jab, except it also beats the backdash. This move is less often used because the range is really short, and if you get hit by it, you can hold down to end the nosebleed stun grounded, so Lei doesn't get as big of a reward for using this move. Tip number 4. When you're hit by four Razor Rush punches, Lei is also at plus two, but for some reason, some down jabs will whiff, so generic down four is actually best here. In general, if the input is down back one, it seems to always work, and if the input is down one, it seems to always fail, but lab it with your character to be sure. If your character's down jab will whiff, keep a down four in mind. Of course, the situation is a little sticky because you're probably waiting for the end of the Razor Rush mix-up anyways, but it's good to know your options. 
Tip number five, the exception to everything is if Lei is in rage and you got hit by a string. If that happens, forget everything and only down jab or only block. If you got hit by Snake 4-1, your down jab will trade with Tiger Rage Drive and you'll get launched. Everything else is safe to down jab only. For example, if down 4 one plus 2 puts you into crouch and you try to wall standing 4, Tiger Rage Drive will trade with it and he gets a full launch. Lastly, if Lei does Tiger 3 forward, there's a follow-up mix with Sitting Snake Stance. This tip is directly from Pepper Beef 2 Spicy, so you know it's credible. At the wall, Tiger 3 forward will often be used against characters that only have high block punishers. Think Asuka and Leo. Sitting Snake in general is best countered by either down 4 or down 2 jab. Another tip is Sitting Snake 4 is also reactable, whereas Sitting Snake 1 is not. So you can block the mid and react to the low. Thanks again to Pepper Beef 2 Spicy. He answered my questions on Twitter, helped me out and make sure this video was really comprehensive and complete. So check him out on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. He's a super helpful guy and he's a lay master. Thanks a bunch for watching. Leave a comment below with characters you want to see for other one minute matchups. Thanks. See ya.